What's up? Peace, man? peace. What's the word? Yo, I'm hyped that you're here right now, man. For real. We just had a. We were talking for a minute before we started the show, so we already know kind of what we're gonna talk about. Um, so you're vegan, right, bro? Facts, facts. So how long you been vegan for? Oh man, like six years. Six years. What made you go vegan? Um, just seeing, you know what I mean, the pain that these animals go through, you know what I mean, and knowing that, you know, like, that's just not good for you, you know what I'm saying, because they going through the pain, you're going to be going through the pain, you know what I mean, if you eating that, you know, you are what you eat, so, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that's my principles and my values. Yeah, it's been six years, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got, I'm going on, I'm going on seven right now, too, and like, I was on the same wave, but I kind of approached it from uh, finding out about the about the environment, how it's bad for the environment, and all that. Right, right. You 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 came out you came at it from like a morality standpoint first. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was more on like, you know what I mean? Like, I used to eat meat, and then after a while, I was just like, yo, this shit just tastes nasty. You feel me? Like, what am I really eating? Why do I have to eat animals in order to get protein? You know. So then that's when I found an alternate source. You know what I'm saying? Where do you get most of your protein from? Eat healthy, go go vegan, go clean. You know what I'm saying? Beans. Yeah. A lot of beans. You know what I'm saying? Like garbanzo beans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're on that like pumpkin uh, seed. I saw pumpkin a, seeds. Yeah. A minute ago. And tamari. Yeah. Yeah, tamari. Yeah, yeah. You ever yeah. make like the, the mushroom bacon with the tamari and all right, that? Right, 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 right. Go in. Yeah. You eat, you eat like... The style of vegan you eat, though, I, I've seen that, for example, for breakfast, you were having raw spinach. You right. were having uh, pumpkin seeds. It was a bowl of raw spinach, strawberries, pumpkin seeds, and red beans. But there was no seasoning. There was no salt. There was no oil, really, right? Right, 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 right. Everything was raw. Yeah. You know, that's that's ground first. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather just have everything, like, straight from the dirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, not cooked. You know what I'm saying? Like... You get you get the the nutrients better. You, you know, know what about the flavor, the old flavor that you used to have when you eat meat and all that. All um, the sauces, the salt, the seasoning. Yeah, the, yeah, all of that. Like nowadays, if I, you know I mean, gonna ask for flavor, all that. You know what I'm saying I use like some Himalayan pink sea salt. You know what I'm saying like pepper. You know. And yo, the the people listening to this, the young people, the graffiti writers, the the artists, the people who making music, the skaters. You gotta wake up to to not just diet, but just as people who who write or partake in these other kind of cultures, you gotta you know your mind's supposed to be more open to other possibilities. Your mind should be open to. I'm not I'm not saying like go vegan. I'm just saying like open your mind, expand your mind. Don't let that shit be limited to what the media tells you or what everybody on Instagram says is cool. Don't wait for everyone to do a something on Instagram and make it cool to be like, oh yeah, I actually do that now. Now that this dude said it, that's oh, right. Just think of, think of it for yourself. You shouldn't have to wait until you see Noxer being like, oh, like vegan, blah blah blah, raw spinach. Right. You should just, you know, you yourself be open to any ideas, you know, because like I was saying, it's the media and the government and all this stuff. They make it easy to follow these certain paths and in. Uh, you were saying that one of your reasons, this is a minute ago, but one of your reasons for writing Graph was like destroying motherfucking government, anti-government. Facts. What was like... Facts. That was so long ago. What was that about? Ah. <laughs> ah. It's so irrelevant right now. Exactly, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it is what it is. It stands on its own 10 toes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, there's there's laws, you know what I'm saying? There's these 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 laws. Who makes these laws? You know what I'm saying? That we have to follow, you know, like things like that. You know, they don't want us to be sovereign, you know what I'm saying? They don't want us to be free. You know what I'm saying? They want us in captivity, whether it's a mental slavery or it's a physical slavery. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all about freedom, you know what I mean? And m most of the time, they ain't going to give you your freedom, so you're going to have to take it, you know what I'm saying? So that's, 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 that goes hand in glove to what I was talking about. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yo, it's the battle between fucking good and evil, you know what Facts. I mean? And they're Facts. the evil, bro. We, we got to wake up, you know? Facts. The vibrations are changing in the world right now. A lot more people are starting to really feel what's going on. Yeah. They're having conversations like this. 
Man, it's it's all meant to be. It's like this magnetic force that Facts. is fighting for the for us to fucking win, you know? Yeah, I mean, yo, know, in terms of like the destroying the government or the anti government and, and all that shit, what do you think about society right now with everything that's going on in America specifically just right now, there's like a battle going on at the White House and there's just in New York random attacks every single day on the subway. Right. right. The people are moving out. Change you know. must come. Change must come. You know, like before there was like, you know what I mean, the revolution won't be televised, but shit, they got a whole bunch of cameras nowadays, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So everything is gonna happen and things are gonna get seen. Things are not gonna get seen, you know, but for the most part, you know, um people waking up, you know, is 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 like enlightenment, you know, and more and more and more people are, you know, the young ones especially, you know, are waking up. Mm -hmm. You know, these these old dudes is like, okay, you woke up, but what? You're 60 years old. You know, like, what can you do? You can't go on the front line, mm -hmm. you know? Like, so what you gonna do, you know? What do you try to do in your day-to-day -day life to, you know, just better yourself and free your mind from all this mental and physical poison that's around us? Um, I'm spiritual, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I, I, I build my air likes, you know what I'm saying, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. Um, I live righteous, you know what I'm saying? Clean, healthy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, you ever tried any meditation or anything like that? Um... Yeah, I meditate. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't pray. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I meditate. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a difference, you know, from prayer. Like, you're praying for something. You, you're waiting for something to save you. You're praying for something. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you meditate and, like, you are, you are the source. You know what I'm saying? It's just the energy, like, it's magnetism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just have to draw that energy in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see that you put on your Instagram all the time, hashtag God first. Yeah, God first. I've seen you put like things like anything lost I wasn't supposed to have. If it's for you, it will come. Peace right. is priority. Right. You think about like a destiny. You think about that maybe things were just set in stone for us and you're on this path that you live for a specific purpose or what is that? Like, what is God first? Yeah, all of this is a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Us us being here, you know what I'm saying? Just us being in this room right here, you know what I'm saying? All this is magnetism, you know? Um, we're drawn, we're drawn to each other, you know what I'm saying? And God first, because without God, without that source, we wouldn't be, you know? And I am that I am, but I be, you know? Like, I exist, you know? Um... Being spiritual, we're spiritual before we're physical, you know? So I use my first eye, you know, which people call it the third eye, but it's really the first eye, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When did you start getting into all this, the spirituality, the, the, the first eye, third eye? Were, like, for example, back in the footage that everybody has seen of you, were you, were you on this type of wave or? Um, I feel like it was always there. It was just, it just had to be harnessed, had to be tapped into, you know. Everybody has it, mm -hmm. you know. You just have to tap into it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because, you know, you're always talking, Z's always talking about, like, it was meant to be if if there was traffic and the person was late, it was right. meant to be. Right, Like, when you say that stuff, you as Z, it's like, what, yeah. do, what do you even, what does that mean? Because sometimes <laughs> me... I'm I'm like sometimes I think black and white a lot. Right. I do think spiritually, but I do think black and white a lot. Right. I'm like, what do you mean that? Or he'll see like a. I'm not I'm not hating on it. I'm just wondering. He'll see like a the time will be like eleven eleven four forty four. He'll yeah, be like, yo, yeah. peep. Yeah, I've peeped that a lot. The thing is, is like I. I bring this up like, you know, people that listen to this might know um like psychedelics, you know, like mushrooms and like, higher teachers in a way, you know, and um. Yeah. Ever since I got into that, you know, it was like you said, like, um, it w I felt it always in me ever since I was a kid, you know, I felt like isolated from the, the crowd and I always thought like, what was wrong with me? You know, why am I feeling this way? Like, what the fuck, you know? But as I got older, I realized that, like you said, everybody has a purpose and everything, you know, I try to live in the, in the present moment, you know, and um, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Every little fucking thing, you know, yeah. has like, 
is meant to be on this like certain path towards like a greater purpose it's right. pretty trippy knowing that you know people think that one person can't make a change or you know we don't matter because we've been told our whole life we don't fucking matter you know right, by like right. by authority figures or like you know even it could be our family you know and um you know i'm not saying like you know i love my family but like you know people that you looked up to in a way could be you know putting you down yeah yeah and even friends could be poisoning your mind yes yeah, but within yes. us bro we have fucking a godlike bro energy it's yeah, not even yeah, something for words yeah, man it's yeah. just bugged out honestly so when things when things happen i just i truly try to accept it you know i, I don't want to stress nothing you know right, i don't right, want to right. feed that negative en energy into anything you know even it's like if it, it is be, what it is it could yeah. be the most bugged out thing and yeah. you know it's it's hard don't get me wrong it's not like i'm perfect at it but like you know it's definitely something to work on and the more you work on it the more you manifest those right. things you know right. your, your conscious gets like uh, sculpted into thinking the certain way it's pretty yeah. it's pretty interesting yeah. yeah i noticed that whenever somebody asks you in any other interviews had like where, where you get your inspiration from in terms of maybe they're looking for a, like a writer, a specific writer. Mm -hmm. You just say your environment, you know, Brooklyn, yeah. where you grew up. How do you think that growing up, however way you did, affected your mind state into you becoming the person that you are now? And, you know, and state your name. Bro, like all I can remember from when I was a little kid was one, you, like one of your part was one of the standout parts for me, you know, like. It comes on screen. There's a yeah. dude in a fucking potato, potato fucking bag yeah, mask yeah, thing, yeah. holding a steak knife, yeah. and it's all red and it looks like it's in like hell. Yeah, yeah. And then and the crazy music, and yeah, you're just like yeah. saying all this, you know, it's, it's saying all this crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm sitting there, mad young, and I'm like, yo, this is like, this crazy. like in my at that time for me, I'm like, this is God, whatever, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, fucking crazy. Department of Defense, right. you get scanned every day by the human <laughs> eyes, whatever. Word up, word up. How did all of that, how did you become that person through you just growing up? Because people don't just wake up and are this, this is like a created entity, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. But it, it, it's a created entity, but it was a life that I was living, you know what I'm saying? Like growing up, you know what I'm saying, in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? Like moving around, you know, like learning certain things, doing certain things, shaped and molded me, you know what I'm saying, to become, you know, who I am right now. And then going, you know, years later through transitions and, you know, learning certain things, you know what I mean, it it, it let me to be who I am right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to eat meat, you know? So when you see me and state your name, I was eating meat, you know what I'm saying? Like... It probably made me more rowdier, you know what I'm saying, as opposed to now, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mentality is probably rowdy, but my actions is calm, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I know that as you get older, you know, you have to face certain consequences, you know? Like, when you're young, 15, 16, you don't have a responsibility, you know what I'm saying? So you move in a certain way. Like, you don't... you. It's like no fucks, you know what I'm saying? But once you get older, you start seeing things for what they are and not what they present themselves to be, you know? And then you're like, oh, man, you know, like, oh, yeah, it's stealing. Nah, I don't, that's not, it's not worth it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not worth going and get three hots in a cot, you know, because you, for, for, for petty larceny, you know what I'm saying? Like, things of that nature. But these kids really go out there and they do it. You know, because they got nothing to lose. Most of them live with their moms. Ain't paying no rent. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Pampered. You know what I mean? Get slapped on the wrist. You know? But once you, like, a, a certain age, you get caught for that shit. Like, you might lose your pension. You might lose your, your, your house or wherever you rent it because you locked up. You know what I'm saying? You, your, 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 your neighbors, now they know you as an old-ass person who writes on walls, you know, like things of that nature, mm -hmm. you know. They they shaming you right now, you know what I'm saying? So, or You got to deal, like, it's crazy. as you grow older, you got to deal with the fact that you do live in a society that is not a video game, that you don't just, you know, rack f to stay alive and then have no consequence. You know, these things do come back to you, and then when they do... Are you still going to be on the same mentality 
and then as they affect you as you grow older and your record doesn't disappear and your mentality totally shifts from someone who's like full on writer right. uh someone who boosts for a living or whatever right. to someone who just your mentality might totally shift like you said yeah your whole life might totally shift yeah are you still going to be down with that same stuff oh shit you better be you know that's what I'm gonna tell you. You if you was with that rah rah before, you better you better you better stick to the script, you know what I mean? Because that one second that you slip, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody on you, like you could have had beef from four, five, six, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Just because you you changed and you wanna be, you know what I'm saying, the prophet now, you know what I'm saying? Or you know what I'm saying, you wanna be peaceful now, don't mean that that person is on that same type of vibe and energy, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like... Everything's it, a cycle. Yeah, so it's like if it's up, keep it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Word. You know yeah, I mean? I mean, you talk about how you had a lot of beef. Yeah, how, I still do. Yeah, I mean, what? And then now that you're getting into this whole different state of mind and different state of body where you're being more... You're, maybe your thoughts are rowdy, but your actions are more peaceful and... You're conscious about the way you eat. You're conscious about society around us and right. what they're trying to make us intake. You're conscious around your, your friends and maybe they're feeding you mind poison or whatever. You you do walk around worrying about past beefs that have accumulated through just years. Yo, you've been doing your thing for years, bro. Yeah, man. I was Decades on, of dedication. Yo, I was lurking on some oh, photos and I, I was like bugging out yeah. and seeing some of the people you've written with everybody yeah. Yeah. you've had you have spots there's this one spot in Brooklyn I don't remember it's on top of the train yeah some it's like three outlines yeah yeah through all those years of accumulated beefs and accumulated experiences do you walk around now thinking about those times worried or no nah, man I'm not worried at all you know what I'm saying I just I sit back and I just let life play its role, you know what I mean? Like, or, you know what I mean? Like, I'm protected, you know what I'm saying? Simple, you know what I'm saying? We protected, defense up, you know what I'm saying? Like, straight like that, you know? Physical is no thing, you know? Word. It's all, it's Word. all the Word. other way, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all spiritual, you know? I'm protected, you know what I'm saying? So. Word up. It is I've, what it I've is. I've heard that you haven't never gotten backed for graph. I don't got no felonies. Yeah, you... Facts. And it's been years. <laughs> That's wild, man. And, like, you were telling us about a story. You got chased. And then, every, I mean, there was, like, four heads who got chased. You yeah, got away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens a lot. Yeah, and, like, what what is it that you think when, when the, like, when these things happen that makes you potentially come out on top? It's because, first of all, you got to predict it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going outside, you know what I mean, and you and you moving, you moving sturdy, but you know these two dudes is they moving kind of wacky. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta watch it because you know that it, it can happen. You know what I'm saying? And then you gotta be ready to run. You gotta you got you gotta have, you know what I'm saying, an escape in in your brain. You know, like okay, if it goes wrong, because everybody think it's okay. You know, go outside, grab your paint, you know, walk around, spray on shit. You know what I'm saying? But not only you got to worry about police, you got to worry about the people that, houses that you've written on. You know what I'm saying? These, these buildings that you're doing fillings on. You know? Then you got to worry about beef. You know what I'm saying? The people you have problems with, they could be rolling by in a car. You know? See you. You know what I mean? Line you up. So, some people these days, like, they wouldn't even jump out. They'll call. You know what I mean? get on their phone and start calling people. So by the time you're like five, six, seven blocks away, now you're surrounded, you know? Have you gotten surrounded like that? Um, I got surrounded by police in, in, in situations and I just got out of them, you know what I'm saying? Or, now you definitely gotta be aware of your surroundings like yeah, at all times, yeah. you know, like you say, you, you, you know, everything could be feeling chill and then all of a sudden, two seconds happen. later, things happen. Yeah. So you gotta know your surroundings, where to go, what are you Facts. doing? You think, um, you know, the shift of mindset, this, like, lightness you feel now in terms of changing your diet, you know, yeah, your mindset, yeah. you think that helps you paint when you're out? Like, your senses are more enhanced, you could say? Yeah, yeah, I feel like um, I'm level-headed when I go outside. I mean, even if I, you know what I'm saying, we on that zah, you know what I'm saying, like, still level-headed, you know what I'm saying, like, word up, like, focus on point, you know, like, 
I got good eyesight, so I could see far. You know what I'm saying? I, I could see in the dark. <laughs> uh, Have you dealt with any type of serious drug or alcohol use throughout the years, or you've always stayed clean like that? Um, what you mean? Like, you know, a lot of writers they have they have problems with alcohol, and then they go out wasted pretty much, and then it becomes like a cycle. And I noticed for a lot of writers that we've had on, graph can become a really poisonous cycle. Right. And you know, at the end of the day, it's about self preservation and longevity. Right. In and out of graph, you don't want to just burn out in in two years, three years, four years. Yeah, I'm focused when I go outside. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, word up. You know, for the most part, we just we smoke smoke a lot of weed. You know what I mean? We're definitely been into them shrooms. You know what I'm saying? Psychedelics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You still do them or? Yeah. <laughs> you use them you use them for like a spiritual awakening or because i know a lot of people that use them like some people use them strictly for that they use them strictly for uh opening the third eye and stuff like that the first eye first eye, first eye. yeah well yeah um i was one that yeah yeah i had some recent recently uh yeah a lot of people they um you know, they associate it with, like, a party drug. Right. And, uh, you know, I've talked about this on um, this dude Rescue before on the show, how when you treat those teachers with disrespect in a way, you know, as just a shallow party drug, right. they won't let you, they'll almost have you, make you have, like, a bad trip. That's why right. people have, right. like, bad trips yeah. and they don't feel good, you know. Yeah. And, um, well, bad trips, like, necessarily aren't always bad because I've heard people say, like, those are teachers also, you know. Right, right. But that's if you're willing to learn from them, you know right. what I mean? A lot of people do do psychedelics and they have one bad trip and they're like, oh, fuck that. Like, I'm never trying that again. That wasn't for me. See, it you was know? a lesson, though. All of that's a lesson, you know what I mean? Each lesson is a blessing, you know? Like, yeah, I had a trip where, you know what I'm saying, somebody tried to kill my, 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 you know, my trip. Yeah. But... Just didn't happen, you know what I mean? And then, and then I just seen, I seen, I seen a person, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of like, okay, okay, I didn't see you like this before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of those, but, mm -hmm. you know, and it can definitely, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like drinking alcohol, yo. Mm -hmm. You're vulnerable. Shrooms, yeah. yeah. It's like drinking alcohol mm -hmm. because it will make you say what you, wouldn't say but it's 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 the real you you know how somebody would drink and be like oh i didn't really mean that i was drunk yeah, yeah. nah you really did mean you that you was holding that. it in yeah, yeah. that's the difference you know what i'm saying when you drink you let it out you don't hold it in you tell your emotions you tell how you feel you know what i'm saying it's just like with shrooms you know what I mean? yeah it's, it definitely opens up a part of you that you it you've been feeling your whole life. You yes. know, it's it just enhances it. It opens yes. this gate that we're constantly blocked by through like daily shit, you know, yes. even through like you were saying, like fluoride and all this shit, it blocks it. It has this like this it builds this wall every time you poison your body, you know. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, it's like um it's interesting, like the ayahuasca trips, that's what they do. Yeah. They um yeah. my boy went out to Peru. I haven't done it yet because I, I haven't I went and did that, but I had I had some food like the day before, and I, yeah, oh yeah, I you got to do a whole fasting yeah. before it yeah. was supposed. Oh, you to have eat. to do fasting before you do ayahuasca. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to be completely yeah. cured, like well, free of everything. Because you're gonna puke. Really? Yeah, they're they gonna call it the purge. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're gonna give you that. You're gonna take it. Yeah. So you take ayahuasca and then you're gonna puke right after. From from because it's heavy. It's yeah, like, you puke and defecate. Yeah. That's the yeah. that's the like yeah. the ritual. So yes. pretty much what that symbolizes yes. or literally symbolizes is like you cleanse yourself Clarity. before you start Clarity. the mental. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yes. Before you start the mental cleanse battle. Yourself. Yep. Yeah. But my boy went out to uh, Peru and um, what happens with ayahuasca is, you know, like shrooms, like you can have bad trips. Right. But ayahuasca is like a like a two hour, one hour to two hour ceremony. You see, you see, you see elders. Yo, you, you go do first, it first. If people are holding a lot of things in, that's yes. what they fight first. Yes. The the demons may not the demons, but the teachers. You know, right. they might seem intimidating. They're like the you know like scary because yeah. it's like um the demons you hold inside. Right. So they make you face that first, and you truly understand it, and then after that. Then the fucking lights open up and you start yeah. really feeling. I didn't like get good. to do that, man. I did like I. That's like um. Well, that's that's like DMT, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Yeah. So yeah, what is it? Is it like a? How do you know this? Because I know you haven't right. you haven't done ayahuasca. <laughs> like, this is like a set thing that everyone experiences, like more or less the same pattern. Yeah, it's no ayahuasca is more direct. Like you could yeah. take a businessman that's never been on a spiritual path, yeah. make him drink that brew, and he will face the shit. Like yeah. there's no running from it. You it's know? deep. Yeah. yeah, but mushrooms is different. They're like yeah. kind of like um, smaller teachers. They're more right. subtle. They're more like um, they respect you more in a way. Like ayahuasca is more like a fucking like eye opening thing. You know, I can't speak fully about it because I haven't done it. I've tried DMT. Like I've yeah. smoked it yeah. before. But yeah. is there any instances of things going wrong when you take ayahuasca? So what it is is like a ceremony with like a shaman, and okay. they take care of you. They're ready for it. They yep. know how to like no, handle situations handle in yeah. case something goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So are you unconscious when you when you shit yourself and puke? No, you're conscious. No, you're, you're conscious at that so point. So you you yeah. feel it coming and everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And then what? You just smoke it? No, it's a brew. They um. Drink it. It's like a plant, and they make it into the, like this plastic bottle. To it's a drink. Like, yeah. yeah. It's a drink. You drink mm. it. Yeah. That's wild, bro. That yeah. sounds so wild. You, you, you a lot hallucinate, of shit you trip, you meet, yeah, you meet your elders, you, yeah, you The go. elders are what? Like your ancestors, your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The teachers, bro. Teachers. Teachers. The elder yeah. teachers. <laughs> <laughs> elder teachers. Yo, so what keeps you writing graph? It's been so many years. What keeps you out there? I, you know, you go to Brooklyn, you see, I see you up and all that. Decades what keeps you motivated? of dedication. That's what it, decades of dedication, you know, mm -hmm. consistency, you know. Um, I don't know. I feel like I got the all spark, you know, like, just keep going, you know what I'm saying? Like, since 89, you feel me? Like, consistency, you know what I'm saying? When people was talking about, yo, I got kids. Yeah. I got to stop. Yo, I got to get a job. I got to stop. I say, you know what? This is my job. You know what I'm saying? This is my job. Like, like I make lucrative currency off of what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and it's hard, you know what I'm saying, for artists to really do that and succeed and to strive and thrive, you know what I'm saying, off this type of situation. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Instagram, when COVID happened, like all that COVID shit happened and all that, that's when I capitalized the most. Like I was already doing numbers, you know what I'm saying? But once that happened, it was just like through the roof. You know what I'm saying? Like where. So are you con you're continuously making art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something that I live with, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like people got a nine to five job, right? Like. I work 25 hours a day, you know what I'm saying? Like, the grind never stops, you know? That's how it is when you work for yourself. Yeah, yeah, self-made, self-employed, you know what I mean? Yeah, people think it's easy, you know, you don't have a boss, you get to do your own thing, but it's it's harder than people really think. Yeah, you know? it it's, is. It's, yeah, especially it live is. in a city, like you said, with the money situation. Yeah. Oh, rent is <laughs> like, it's, it's fucking yeah. impossible almost to yeah. live out here, and especially doing it like, Having your own business, it's a huge risk, you know. Yeah, You're fighting is. every day just yeah, to make by, you know. Yeah, yeah. So when did you start, you know, you got the crazy mask that you made. Right, you got the right, sculptures. Right. You got a bunch of canvases. I saw this really dope one you did with like, Egypt. It was like ill Egyptian references. Right, right, right. When did you get into all that? Oh, man. Well, I've been drawing all my life, you know what I'm saying? But, like, bringing it to, like, surface is, like... Probably when Instagram first came out, like, well, not first came out, probably, like, 2015, I think. Mm -hmm. Around there is when I really bought it to Instagram. Like, I didn't even know about Instagram, you know what I'm saying? One of my boys put me on. He was like, yo, you got to show your art, you know? Like, he was like, yo, you could die tomorrow and then nobody will never see your shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, word. I never thought of it like that, you know, because I was like, although I was doing a lot of work, I was like keeping everything hidden, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want them to see this. I don't want, I gotta hold, hold all my art, hold all my pictures, hold everything. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, nah, I gotta let the people see this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then once that happened, it, it was a wrap. I started selling mad canvases, like off the rip. Oh, yeah, 
That's the know. way it should be, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Then making sculptures, then doing clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been having my clothes, you know what I'm saying? But then once I trademarked it, you know what I'm saying? It was a wrap. Oh, you tra- you trademarked it? Yeah, Sick, trademarked, bro. Trademarked. So do you have like an LLC set up or anything like that? Oh, um, my LLC is on the way. Sick. Yeah, but I got, as far as the Noxer, Noxer Couture, that's trademark. The face, yeah, that's trademark. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. You ever thought, you got a trademark on your throat, bro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You literally, yeah, you literally have a trademark yeah, on your throat. Yeah, it's official, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing it for so long, man, it's a symbol, you know what I mean? It's a yeah. staple, you know what I mean? Everybody know it. They know what it is. They know the vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, doing this for so long and it's crazy it's because like i didn't plan for none of that you know what i'm saying like i was just on the streets doing what i do like you know how everybody's playing baseball basketball football you know what i'm saying like i just picked up a spray can you know what i'm saying and got busy you know what i mean and and the fact that i already knew that i could draw so it was just basically having can control and learning how you know what I'm saying? How to move with it. But once I learned the can control, it was a wrap. You know? When you first started, you you started with Knox, right? Yeah, it started as a toy. Yeah. Ultimate toy. Really? Yeah, it was a toy. Although, like, I knew how to draw and all of that, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't no graffiti artist. You know what I'm saying? None of that. You know? Um... Back in the days, there was no, you know, there was no Instagram. There was no, not none even that. YouTube. None of that. Because you started in 89. There was, yeah, no, there was no, no YouTube. None, there was no Flickr. None of that. Like, so, I had the big homies, but they didn't even teach me. They was just like, yo, you can roll with us. You know what I mean? You can roll with us. But we're not going to, you know what I mean? Like, we, we ain't going to teach you how to, you know what I mean, do fonts. You have to learn that shit yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was trial and error. You know what I mean? Learning, getting paint, racking. You know what I'm saying? Doing doing pieces. Doing pieces of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Until they finally, you know, gradually started getting good. You started learning how to cover yeah. how to cover the surface, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And how to like move far away to make the cap fatter, get close to skinny, stop it from dripping, you know? Things of that nature, like you gotta learn that. You know what I'm saying? It's people that have been doing it all this all their life, and they still can't get it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, how do you think that? How do you like? How did you come up with that face when you first started? Was it you started off with the face? You already knew you wanted to do a character kind of thing, or? I was yeah, I was doing I was doing characters for my O's. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where like, I was doing I was doing my N O's. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't doing an X because the X was hard. It was hard to do X's. You know what I mean? So I didn't, it was hard to learn that until I became a master. Then I was like, all right, I know how to do it, but I don't even got to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? Because people already know what to say. You know what I mean? You've done, ma- you, you change it all the time. The face changes. When you go up to the wall, you have it planned out. I'm going to do this one. Or you just have a, like a glossary in your mind of a million different. Yeah, yeah. It just comes spot- spontaneously. It's like, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I get to the wall, they're like, all right, draw this. You know what I'm saying? And then I got a couple of seconds to draw it. That's it. That's what I want to ask about, like, piecing, too, because you be doing some bugged out pieces. You sit down and sketch, or it's all just spontaneous, like oh, you're saying? Oh, um, back in the days, I used to sketch. But I don't even sketch no more. Really? You just yeah. go off your mind? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't, I don't need no sketch. <laughs> the color schemes, the, the yeah, styles, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Like, I see it before it's there. You know what, what about, saying? like, the characters you incorporate sometimes? Like, i seen you did, like, a Pikachu, like, a long time ago. Yeah, shit, like, yeah, different, yeah, like, little, yeah. You throw little yeah. things. That comes off the mind? Right, or yeah, like, yeah. That was off the mind. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very photogenic. So, like, I could see something. If I stare at it for, like, a good 20, 25 minutes... I remember it, you know, and I just draw that shit. So you've been in, you lived in Bushwick your whole life, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's since at least, well, I mean, before 89, you've been living there. Yeah. And it's like, you've probably seen so much change and so much crazy shit happen. And what right, do you think right. about the current state of New York? And have you ever thought about moving out? Nah, nah, um... I'm not moving. I'm not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, staple, like I said. You know what I'm saying? Like, word up. Um, I've seen a lot of people move. You know what I mean? Where a lot of families on my block. You know, a lot of people, period. 
You know what I mean? Um, I seen the neighborhood get gentrified. A lot of a lot of things going like buildings, old buildings getting knocked down, new buildings, you know, coming up. Um, yeah, all of that, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of there's a lot of coffee shops. A lot of coffee shops, you know. Do you think of it the gentrification, I mean, as a negative thing? Or you think of it as like I feel like there's a good and a bad. The cycle of life you know burning what I'm old wood for the new, yeah, the new yeah, things can yeah, flourish. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's yin and yang, I would say, you know what I mean? Because it's 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 all right, it could be bad, but it has its goods, you know what I'm saying? So just like a sword, you know what I mean, you could chop somebody's head off or you could use that shit to, you know, like chop wood to make a house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? It's like that, you know what I mean? Like these people could come and be better for the economy and be better for your community. You know, or they could just come through and just fuck everything up. Yeah, it's a you know it's it's like you said the good and the bad because, you know, they could be opening like organic and health food stores, right. making people more conscious. Right. But you know there are negatives to that, which is that they cost you know a lot of money. Very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. But and then, um, and then it, it it just it just makes the price the price go up. Yeah, it you makes know? people yeah, yeah. almost try and, like being like, "Oh, that's just a luxury." You know? Right, like, being eating healthy is a luxury. I don't right. want to do that. Like, there's a picture. It's um, like a McDonald's salad is like seven bucks, but a hamburger is like I a, saw a that. dollar. Or yeah, some I shit, saw that. You know? I so saw that. They, they, even if you just think about that, that's wild. Yeah, because one they, of them, one of them, you had to grow. You had literally had to. It grows on trees, right. literally. The right. other one, you have to give mad water, mad food. It takes years naturally. But if you have knowledge, you have knowledge yourself, then you'll see and you'll notice that, you know, what's, what's, what's good for you, they, they charge you. Yes. What's not good for you, you can you can fairly purchase it like that. Mm-hmm. That's what makes, yeah. going back to what we talked about, the negative connotations to being like, you know, quote unquote vegan right. is that, you know, people think of it as, like I said, like a luxury, like a certain, like a diet. You know, right, it's like a right, choice. You know, right. like it's something nice to do for a little bit, or like it's something I want to do to get skinny. You know, like people need to get that out of their heads and right. just think of it as just, you know, the s- source of life. Uh, you know, not death. You right. Know? And it's, it's not crazy right. to say. It's it makes sense. It's, it's it, it so does much make sense. sense. So much you know? sense. Like it's literally death versus life. Yeah. You know? Low key, there are a lot of writers. Who are more on their vegan flow now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, they're starting to wake up. They're mm-hmm. starting to wake up. But then there's still a lot that I've seen that's still swan and dine, you know what I'm saying? Still go to these restaurants and, you know what I'm saying, still eating beef, chicken, you know what I'm saying, still eating ribs, rib tips, and, you know, anything things of that nature. It's because it's so easy, you know? It's like they show you the commercials, crispy fried chicken, there's oil and the skin is popping it looks so tasty smell good 399 yeah. everyone else is eating it popeyes is across the street right why would i say no to that to have some raw spinach and red beans right no, you no. know that's what that's the that's the thing it's like it's psychological it, yeah and, and it's hard to gain control over your mind and gain control over your senses and gain control over yes. yourself yes because you really got to know yourself yes. and your purpose on this planet yes to be able to be like all right here's there's literally temptation everywhere, yes. but I know that inside I have enough control to decide what I'm going to do and not let the the commercial I just saw decide for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's something powerful to be able to do that aside from the aside from the vegan thing, whether your thing is like, you know, your diet or you're like a meditator or you do yoga or like to really be able to step away from the norm when everything else makes that super, super easy and everyone else around you is going to clown you or going to say, like, you're wild for doing that. Yeah. It takes a lot, bro, you know, to do that. Did you receive hate at all from, like, from the graph community when you put vegan on your on your Instagram uh, caption sometimes? Um, Nah, nah. Just recently, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I mean, a fool, a fool who was, I mean, all of his feelings were, he was like, yo, fuck everybody who's vegan. Ah, ah, ah. Like, Salty, you know what I mean? Like, or what they gotta do with vegan people? You know what I'm saying? Like, or how can you how how can you be salty at a vegan? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I really don't get it. It's like just people trying to better their their life right, style, right. you know, I really like trying to it. elevate themselves. Right. It's um, you know, there's certain people, you know, I'm not even saying this with ego. It's just certain people are meant to stay on a lower plane, you know, and there's people lower vibrations, lower vibrations. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Bro, it's it's everywhere, man. Like through materialism, through everything. They say like, yo, imagine every female woke up tomorrow and they decided. You know, they really like how they look and they don't buy no more beauty pro- products. Yo, billion, trillion dollar corporations will shut down tomorrow. Facts. If people just fucking love themselves. Not only women, bro, like everybody. Like, everybody, everybody. Bro, all that shit, materialism, yes. clothes, yes. like all of that. spending all of money that. on things that don't really that. matter, you know? Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, I mean, the thought is, is that uh, eating healthier and eating more plants is like a new hipster wave. But really... You know, like you were saying, the Ital Rastafarians, right. these these Hindus, these these Chinese, Vietnamese, Tibetan Buddhist monks, right. mad societies have been doing this for mad long. This is not a new thing. It's it's just not a common thing. It just wasn't a label like it is now. Like right, vegan, it's not a label. It's not a vegan word. You know? And actually, right. in other countries, the poorest people they don't eat. They don't eat as m- as many animal products as us because they just can't afford it. Right. Because in other countries that shit is bread. Yeah. Like you know, luxury. like yeah. it's, a up, yeah. it's a straight up it's a straight up luxury. Yeah. My my um, like my fam's from Ecuador and they talk about how like when they were growing up, if if they saw you eating like that's like any animal products in terms not like cheese but right, right. steak like a good steak right or, right uh you know langosta or anything like that that's that they know that you're well off. Whereas here, it's like the poorest people, that's what they're, they're not going to get like, I'm going to go some steak, but I'm saying like a burger or any type of like cheap, de- cheap deli meats, hot dogs. Yo, if you think that's, what are you paying for, bro? You think that if, if you think, you know, if it's, if you think it's expensive, what are you spending your money on? Because I think me personally, the health and control of your mind is very important, you know? Yeah. I feel like health is wealth, like we said, you know, and people need to. People need to realize that, you know, all right, get your mind right, you know, stop eating all these nasty things that don't, you know, you're feeding yourself with poison, you know, you're drinking poison, like, you got drinking things with metal in it, you know, it's, 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 it's not good, you know, at all. Nah, yo, people are, you know, they're, they're so busy with like fighting a system outside of themselves you know rioting outside of themselves doing aggression outside of themselves but yeah. they need to you gotta look, love yourself looking within it's, it starts yeah. with your individuality man yeah. it starts with each person actually finding themselves and then naturally the fucking earth will change bro naturally it doesn't right. change through fires and you know fucking burning everything down right it right. changes with fucking the energy changing within you know and it accumulates. The whole energy of the world changes, you know. There's only so much, like, bro, I try to speak about this shit almost every time. And, like, it never gets old to me personally because I see this happening every day. I feel it every time I step outside and I need to speak about this, you know. And if people want to listen, they can. And if they don't, you know, whatever. But I don't know. What do you think's going on right now with the whole police state that we're living in, especially in, in New York with everything that just went down and, all the riots, what's your viewpoint on that? I feel like all of this is written, you know what I mean? Like, it's planned, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the pandemic, you know, the scamdemic, you know, the, you know, the, 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 like what they wanna do is, is basically, you know, take, take your freedom, take your rights, you know? Make it a one world order, you know? Scan your eyes, you know? Chip you. This is the stuff that they want to do, you know? Depopulate. This is the stuff they want to do, you know? Giving you viruses that they know, you know, that they made, and then turn around and give you a cure, which they made which ain't a cure, you know, stuff stuff like that. So everybody just got to open up their eye, you know, and be aware or stop being naive, you know. 
So what do you think is coming next now that you know you're saying that they're gonna all these all these plans that they want to do, and if that is the case and if that is true, then you know things are on their way. What do you think is coming next, and how are you gonna re- react to it? What are you gonna do? What do you do like to? I mean, I guess if that is the case, then it would be inevitable. But what would you do to like try to you shield plan. yourself? You got a plan. You got a. You got a. Um, at least have a boat bag ready, you know, just in case, you know, things happen. Um, you got to know how to grow food. You got to know how to get water, you know, how to make your water clean. You know what I'm saying? Um, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Know how to do in nature, you know? Which people don't know how to do. I know. I including know. myself, bro. I, I don't know. know how to, I don't know how to grow food. I don't yeah. know how to hunt. Yeah. I don't know how to... If if I didn't have a lighter and a uh, like a Zippo and a tank of gas, I can't make a fire. Yeah. I don't know how to build, bro. I'm like, I know how to do these, you know what I mean? Things that in raw life are not useful. Right. And that's what we've come to. Most this people is, don't know how yo, to do that shit. Right. This is not by chance, man. This has all been building up in small increments. Right. Right? Look, if right. they wanted to teach us in schools at a young age how to They're do all this shit, they could have, bro. Yeah. What's stopping them from teaching us how to do yeah. that? They don't want us John to know D. how Rockefeller. to do that. They don't want us to know He's how to do that. He's stopping us. He's, yeah. you know, the, the, you know, the, the education, you know, the, the jobs and all of that, you know, whatever. It's like a straight indoctrination, you know. George Collin was saying they right. just want you smart enough to push the buttons. Right. That's all they want. Right. They don't want you to know how to fend for yourself. They don't want you to know how to grow your own food. They, right. don't want, they only want you to know how to do like useless shit, like fucking right. pay your taxes. Like, be the puppet. That, be the puppet. You're the slave. That's, that's well, I think you that, are. You're a puppet. I you think know? the thing is, is that like, you know, we as a society, we've come like technologically, industrially so far. We got phones where I could call my grandma right now a million miles away. So if everyone learns one thing, which is build, then we we couldn't keep progressing in the way that the majority of society wants us to. So you got to like get that they'll give us like a basic education whatever first through 6th grade whatever or whatever it is and then you got to pick and choose like I want to learn how to build like for example you know how to build but I don't or I want to learn how to do this or I want to like cuz at the end of the day nobody can learn everything. You know what I'm saying? We we can't learn everything but I think there are some things that we should for Fundamental sure, no. basics. Yes. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't know. Yes. Which sucks. Yes. I really want to learn how to like woodwork, how to yes. do this, like all this shit, because even if I don't have to, I still want to know right. how to do it. Right. I don't want to be totally inept that I don't even know how to build a bench. Right. You know, that's that's just right. OD. Right. Because think about it, man. You know how to do a bunch of math. You don't know how to build a bench. Right. That's like pathetic, bro. Right. You know what I mean? It's a fact. That's just pathetic. It's a fact. It's like, it's crazy to me. You know, on on a di- on a different note uh, that I was thinking of is um, when did you start officially making real deal bread off of your art and you know st- steering away from a, a regular job and working for yourself? Well, oh man, that's a long time, a long time. Where when I just finally realized like. I didn't want to work for, you know, nobody else. I wanted to be my own boss, you know? Like, waking up, I used to have to wake up at like five in the morning, you know what I mean? To get to a job at six. Like, that shit was whack, you know what I mean? Word. And over the course of the months and t- t- years, I was just like, this is a dub. So I quit, you know what I mean? I, I quit with bread, like I had bread, so. When I quit, I had some some money for, you know, a couple couple years or whatever. But then after that, it was like, you got to get on your feet, you know what I'm saying? Because there was no job. So ever since then, I've just been grinding hard on the streets, you know what I'm saying? From selling T-shirts to canvases to pillows, like you name it, you know what I'm saying? Like. Where can people go to find your stuff? Oh, you can check me out on decades underscore of underscore dedication. That's on Instagram. Or you could go to um Noxa Couture on Instagram. Where 
And they just DM you and then... Yeah, you can DM me. I mean, anything you see you like, DM me. I'll get back to you, you know. And I ship out right away, you know. You get extras. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Word. Any last, any last shout outs, any last words you want to say to the people? Any new projects you're working on? Yeah, right now... I'm working on some music, you know what I'm saying? Got this EP coming out, you know what I mean? S-T-W-C-T-S, you know what I mean? That's an acronym, you know what I mean? I, I guess I'll tell you the name, or y'all know the name when it come out. Just remember that, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't out yet. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Working on that, you know what I mean? My music, Um, working on some more clothes, you know what I'm saying? For the Knox of Couture, you know what I'm saying? Um... Shout out to my homie Gretzky, you know what I'm saying? Spaz Gretzky, you can check him out. Shout out to my homie Chief d you know what I'm saying? I buy Chief d you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's defense, defense up. Shout out to Dink, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, you know? Shout out to Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to NYC, man, you know what I mean? Everybody. I mean, international, you know what I'm saying? My 907 dudes, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all y'all, you know what I'm saying? That's how we moving, you know what I mean? Word, give flowers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't give flowers. Word, they wait till you dead, you know what I'm saying? They want to talk about, yo, he was cool, you know what I'm saying? Or, oh yeah, I remember I seen this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Word, but... Yeah, man. It's Noxa, you know what I'm saying? Decades of dedication since 89. You know what I mean? Living legend. You already know what it is. Brooklyn, Bushwick.